okay so today we are going to cover a quick topic about running ansible playbook uh, from visual studio code uh, using cloud shell so if you if you know uh, cloud shell natively provides you ansible installed on its uh, image and uh, you can uh, you can actually run ansible uh, playbooks uh, without installing ansible on your computer actually by logging in into the cloud shell so we will quickly cover it so azure uh, as you can see i have opened a um, repository that is azure samples ansible playbooks so in this repository you have couple of uh, playbook examples over here and one of them uh, we will be trying to run it uh, in cloud shell so to begin with you first need to clone this repository into your computer so you can either do it by clicking on clone and uh, uh, you know copying it and then you can get clone just like you do a, a for any other repository but the way i do is first i fork it to my uh, to my um, uh, account uh, so that i can see this repository into my account uh, which i have already done it so if i will go to my repositories i should be able to see a repository with ansible playbook so it is uh, specific to my repository so what i will do i will quickly go ahead and clone this repository so this is a copy of the same repository but it is under my account so any changes i will make either accidentally or intentionally it will still uh, be in my repository <coughs> even if i i will push it or you know or commit it so let's let's quickly go ahead and clone it onto local computer so i have opened already i have opened the folder where i keep all my repositories so get clone and the link for repository so it will quickly go ahead and you know clone it into my uh, computer and i can quickly go ahead and see all the files over here right so the same one right so we will quickly go ahead and run this one this playbook uh, this is a playbook which creates a virtual machine in a resource group and also creates a virtual network required for that virtual machine in a different resource group so that way you have your virtual machine in a separate group resource group and your virtual network is residing in a different resource group you can go ahead and explore how it is doing but here our uh, idea is how to run it without installing ansible on your computer so as you can see i have opened it in v visual studio code and <clears throat> to you know open uh, cloud shell you will have to install an extension that is called azure account so if you all have not installed this extension i will recommend you install it the, what it will do it will it will give you a, a feature that can help you to open cloud shell azure cloud shell in the visual studio code itself so let's go ahead to our file and uh, let's open the cloud shell so to open the cloud shell i will go to the command plate and as you can see in the recent command it shows open powershell in cloud shell so i'll quickly go ahead and click it and it will as i am already logged into my azure you can see that azure this is my account and there are two directories i am part of so i will select my one of the directory where i want to create my resources yeah so it will go ahead and quickly um, you know request for a cloud shell terminal and this is a powershell terminal uh, <coughs> what it will do uh, as you can see it is authenticating to azure so one of the one of the um, very uh, useful uh, you know thing about cloud shell is uh, in in visual studio code is that it natively logs you in into your azure subscription and you do not need to you know authenticate again to do anything else okay so let, let's check uh, do we have do we already have ansible installed on our cloud shell so we we can quickly issue a command ansible space dash dash version so it will give you the version so yes we have the ansible installed here now what i will do uh, let's see i must have this okay so i already have this particular file copied into my cloud shell uh, so that i can you know run this file 
that is ansible playbook in my cloud shell so in nutshell what I, if you know, i mean for the first time you won't have anything over here and uh, you can so how you do it actually so normally you already have a cloud drive where uh, where you can actually go inside and you can upload there as well or you can upload into the root directory as well so i have uploaded in the root directory but you, if you want to go there then you go cd cloud drive <coughs> So it will go to the cloud drive, right? And in the same way, so I will go come out of it. And let's see, I have this file here. Now, what I will do, if you don't have that file, so how you upload it, you can just simply right click on this file, which you want to upload into your cloud drive current directory. So right now I am in my home directory, so it will upload there actually. So I will, I will, I will quickly go ahead and click on upload. So because I already have this file, so I will not upload it but you can upload this way and uh, you can uh, and then you can run it so how we will run it uh, as it's a ansible playbook so the command is ansible playbook and ansible playbook and then the name of the playbook right so this thing yml okay then we need to provide the variables information so as you can see there are four variables in this in this playbook one of them is expecting to be information provided by us this can be either provided by the command line or can be provided as a file a variable file so here we will pass it as a command line the other resource group secondary resource group where the vm uh, virtual network will be created that information we have actually provided in the playbook itself you can you can provide that information in the similar way what you are providing in resource group name as well but here the you know our idea is to you can you can provide the information here as well or you can you can expect it provided via a variable uh, file or from the command line in the same way we have given the name of the vm and the location of the vm so since we are in the cloud shell to run this ansible playbook we don't really have to log into the uh, azure because i mean uh, to the azure because we are already into the azure then only we have the cloud shell but if you are running it on a uh, on a different machine uh, like your own local machine where you have installed ansible and you are is issuing this command then you will have to log into the uh, azure first before running this command so one of the other advantage of using using cloud shell other than installing ansible you are actually spared you know you don't really have to you know log into the azure um, to to issue any command uh, for you know ansible so let's quickly so we will provide e e is for extra parameter for a ansible playbook and then we will provide the variable in information so variable information is this is the variable name so we will just copy this thing and paste it and then we will provide the value that's let's say ansible test ansible test rg01 yeah simple right so now what we are doing run ansible playbook this playbook we want to run and one of the variable that this playbook expects is this information so we will quickly go ahead and issue this command it will go to the so right now it is uh, host is inventory is you know uh, there is no host inventory and for this playbook actually we don't really need any host entry because we are actually creating vm we are not targeting some vm or or you know any endpoint so here we are creating a resource in the azure using the ansible module so it is going ahead and uh, as you can see it is creating all the things over here right so if i quickly go ahead and log into my portal right now you can see there is no ansible thing over here ansible test rg that i have created if i will refresh it i see this ansible test rg01 and if i go there you can see that few of the things are happening here 
one of the <coughs> NSG has created one of the IP address has been created now it is creating VM very soon we will be able to see the VM as well so let's see let's wait for some time it will take some time to you know finish the setup and the meanwhile we can keep on refreshing this okay so as you can see now it has created the network interface card as well so this is how you can actually run your ansible playbooks from your local computer you know using the cloud shell in visual studio code to create resources in azure and you don't really have to install ansible or log into uh, you know azure you just have to log into the cloud shell there and then it will inherently you know take um, take the credential to you know issue the ansible commands to create against your subscription so let's go ahead and refresh it again so we okay so vm is also there uh, i mean it must be in the deployment state right now so might be not having all the information but let's see there are a few things must be happening right now so let's see it is still in the task create vm yeah so let's wait some time so this is uh i mean uh, I will just quickly go ahead and with the extension name if you do not remember so azure account is the name of the extension you can go ahead and check it out and there's the the the, the repository where this and this is the this is the main repository where you're supposed to uh, clone from where you can either fork it or clone it into your local computer directly and uh, you can you, i mean i have taken one of the other example that uh, you know one of the guy has created so let's check if it has been okay so it is it is still creating vm mm -hmm. as you can see now the vm has been created if we go to our portal and uh, if we go to the same resource group we should be able to see our infrastructure which is has been created so that is how you can actually run your playbook and you know you can create all the uh, i mean uh, ansible you can issue any ansible playbook command against your playbook script and uh, get it done from the azure cloud shell itself thank you